Hey guys, welcome back to Deadman1010 and welcome back to LEGO Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. And on the last episode we were doing the Batman 1966 level pack, you know, for all the characters. And, uh, and basically, yeah, we, we were basically taking a look at the character pack from that and now we are going to be working on the Dark Knight. DLC pack and we'll be doing the level for it and I also gave uh, Spotify a whole new makeover for myself because I put some uh, different uh, backgrounds like different pictures and all this other stuff into there so it's looking all brand spanking new basically and here we go so the logo is basically the tumbler the bat tumbler in Lego mini form which is actually a real poly bag that you can get in real li life for LEGO and LEGO DC Superheroes you know the sets that they you know come out with this was actually a real poly bag don't know whether you would be able to get it now like cheap or anything I bet you could but point is that was actually uh, a real thing fun fact or oh, fun fact but anyway yeah. You all settled in. Moving on. Right then, I will begin. My name is Alfred. Let me get you up to speed, son. Rachel, I think my, Bruce's I ex. Think, I think Alfred was played by Michael Caine, I think. I really thought they'd last the distance. Something Caine. I've got myself a new hat. This fella, no. Harvey Dent, got himself into That's a right funny. pickle. He's only gone and passed himself off as the Batman. Dent the Batman? He's having a laugh. I mean, he's a big man, but he's out of shape. Really? A chicken? For Bruce, this is a full-time job. With Harvey Dent setting himself up as bait, it wasn't long before the Joker made himself known. Blimey, he stands out in the crowd, doesn't he? No. <laughs> That's hilarious. Hearing Michael Caine, or whatever his name is, the uh, voice in this, it's just hilarious. Yeah, he was the same guy who played uh, what's his face from uh, Christmas Carol, screwed from the Muppets Christmas Carol movie. He was the same guy, or same guy, <coughs> or same guy. There we go. Uh, so we can't do that. All we can do is just get studs from it, which is fine. But we can break these. We can get ourselves a mini kit here. One out of ten. And then we can build this. And then we can start destroying these police cars. The police tried to take down Bingo. Jim, but he was just too much for them. Even their fancy helmets and bulletproof vests appeared to be no match for his nurse's uniform. Oh boy. Right. There. Okay, why is this dude not going down? There we go. Wow, that was pretty brutal. There we go. I was just messaging someone there, guys. Uh... Oh, I didn't realize it was on shuffle play. My bad, guys. Guess you'll be hearing a different song then. There we go, we got a machine gun type thing. A bazooka. Best part is we can use it. Yeah. 
If he ever tries a ridiculous stunt like this again, I think Dead will plan for lower speed chases. Hang in there, my son. Batman's on his way. No. That's funny. Oh. We won't be able to get that mini kit then. So it's just floating in the distance. This can't go on. Somebody's got to put a stop to this clown. Where are you, Batman? There he is. And there's our mini kit. Mini kit number two. We also got a random clown goon with us, because, you know, why not? Or why not? I don't really know why he's here. I think he's just here to encompass the two player spot, which is uh, obviously quite. Uh, Notorious in Lego games, should we say, or should we say? Dude, there wasn't need. There wasn't any need for that. Wow, that was oh, easy no. money. Oh, oh easy money. What's Rachel thinking about this fella? Who am I to tell her? I've heard this guy can be a bit insincere. A bit... What's the expression? Huh. You know, too fit. Is that a bazooka? Go on, Master Bruce, get in there, son. Oh, Bruce, not another car. No. This dead character. I mean, with all due respect, he is a patch on Master Wayne. Underneath all that rubber and armor plate, Bruce is a very sensitive guy. Not a lot of people know that. No. Oh, Bruce. You are only supposed to blow the Lego doors off. No. I like how he says Lego doors, because obviously know? this is a Lego Gordon's game. Alive. I it's like just it. just as well, because Batman needs some help to dig the Joker out of the rubble. Although most of the plan had to be improvised, Bruce felt confident that the exact parts he needed would be found conveniently close by. Hmm. So now we are Dark Knight, Batman, and Commissioner Gordon. There we go. And, uh, yeah, that's who we currently are. <laughs> and I'm West in the background. That's funny. Yeah, I'm afraid we can't help you, Adam, this time. Suddenly, Batman and Gordon were attacked by the Joker's goons again. If only they'd had some sort of crime-fighting sidekick to help Huh, <laughs> that was a uh, reference to Robin. Which was, I uh, honestly quite funny. Or funny. Oh boy. There. There. Nicely done. Oh, 
Oh man, this is sick. Or oh, sick. Joker's voice was muffled under the rubble. Nicely done. I do believe he was trying to tell that how he got his scarf. It's strange because I don't remember him wearing one. Yeah, that was that famous scene uh, where Joker, aka Heath Ledger, says, You know where I got these scars? Yeah, he says that throughout the whole film. Yeah, it's a trademark of that Joker, is... Seriously, it, it genuinely is. As Batman continued to build... There we the go! Why so serious? To which Bruce replied, I'm Batman. I'm always serious. I don't think that fully answered this question. No, that's funny. And I'm glad that that uh, clown goon was gracious enough to lift that up for us. Oh, we got our third mini kit there. And that's another iconic line that uh, Joker says. Heath Ledger's one, that is. And that's why so serious. There we go. So now for this, uh, so now just to destroy things. There we go. Nicely done. There we go. Ah, oh, I just noticed some some Easter egg, Easter eggs here. I believe in Harvey Dent. That was when he was uh, Gotham's. Uh, Savior before he became Two Face in this film or film. Which, of course, is well documented. I don't know how I ended up there. <laughs> Boom. Boom. 
Nice. Okay, so we need to go up there. So we need to do our glidey thing. This could get interesting. Nice. Uh, okay, we can't destroy those. Nope. So, uh, yeah, Batman's apparently... Uh, this Batman can apparently use techno panels. Which uh, sounds about right, and I feel like every Batman should be able to do that, really. But I guess that's not the case. Dude, don't attack me like that. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, let's go with this. Whatever. Okay. There we go. I remember Pat asking the Joker why he was wearing a nurse. He babbled something about bad things, which, to tell you the truth, still puzzles me somewhat. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna change the music. Nice. Oh no, I've got a hold square. Okay. This makes sense now. There we go. Came out as well as could be expected. Gordon's making there we go. Joker's in prison, and Bruce managed to save half of Rachel's boyfriend. That Joker, no. he was a tough nut. I have to say, of all the people in Lipstick, Bruce has been up against. He was definitely the hardest. Now I've got to get no. back, put the tea on. Master Wayne will be starving after all that. Well, I don't know. He can defuse a thermonuclear warhead, but can't grill his own fish fingers. Or pick his socks up off the bedroom floor, for that matter. Hmm. That is funny. And there we go. We got a trophy for that, and we got another trophy. Twenty two billion studs. We got our true hero. Adam West in peril, still in peril, but we'll save him uh, on the next episode.
along with our our mini kits we will get those on the next episode too we've only gotten three this time around but we will get them And yeah, guys, if you guys enjoyed this episode, then uh, like, comment, subscribe, share these videos. If we get out to uh, 60 like or 60 uh, likes, then that'll be great. And yeah, ciao, guys. Or ciao, guys.